Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to open up a file through the command prompt or command line window. So, it's going to be a pretty straightforward process here. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, if you know the path of the file, so if you're unsure, you can always open up File Explorer here and go ahead and navigate over to whatever directory you're looking for. So, you could do this PC, you could do local disk and then users whatnot just go through there and once you have the exact path that you're following here just minimize here I'm going to go ahead and open up the start menu type in command prompt I'm going to run as administrator but you don't need to and you're just going to type in whatever drive letter Windows installed on or whatever file you're trying to run followed by a colon then you can do a forward slash here now I'm going to type in users then I'm going to do another forward slash. I'm going to go back to my file explorer here just to follow along. I'm going to type in my username here, so mdtech. And then I'm going to do another forward slash. Or I should say backslash. It doesn't really matter, but it's going to be backslash. They're all backslashes so far. So we're going to go double click on that. Now let's say I want to run this image on my desktop. So I'm going to just type in desktop next part of our path here and I'm going to do another backslash and since the file name is called image I'm just going to type in image dot and now you're going to type in the file extension name so it's a PNG file so if you're unsure of the file extension type you always right click on the file and then select properties and it will tell you what type of file it is so dot PNG so I'm going to just type that in so Dot .png. Again, this will completely depend on your individual circumstance. I'm going to show you guys that you can run a file from the command prompt. Once you have the path correctly typed in here, you can also copy the path too. So if you went over here and just selected the path on File Explorer, you can go ahead and right click and copy on that too. But if you'd rather just type it out like I did, you're welcome to do that as well. You want to hit enter your keyboard once you have it run. And what would you know? It looks like it's opened up. And so I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.